Wow, it feels like a minute since I've done this. Now, I have been working in the background on quite a few reviews, so if you'd like for me to start posting those reviews here in video form, just let me know down in the comment section below. However, that's not what this video is about. It's about the specifications for AMD's Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards that have reportedly been confirmed by Rogaine. Now, according to his information, AMD's next generation RDNA 2, or Navi 2X rather, lineup of GPUs would initially feature two chips with vastly different memory configurations. In his tweet, Rogame says that he has confirmed that the memory configurations at least two of the Navi 2X GPUs based on RDNA 2 architecture. Now, these GPUs include the Navi 21 and the Navi 22 GPU. Now, AMD's Navi 21 is based around the big Navi GPU, which will be powered by the flagship variants in the Radeon RX 6000 series lineup, while the Navi 22 GPUs will power the high performance lineup around the $500 US price range. Coming to the VRAM configurations, it's said that Navi 21 will feature 16 gigabytes of VRAM. From various leaks, we have seen the alleged engineering sample of the big Navi GPU featured 16 gigabytes of Samsung's GDDR6 memory across a 256-bit wide bus interface. In addition to that, the Navi 21 chips is likely to be housed by the Radeon RX 6900 XT GPU. Now, the second variant, the Navi 22 GPU, is said to feature 12 gigabytes of VRAM and would most likely be featured across a 192-bit bus interface. Based around these specifications, the Navi 22 GPU would be used in such cards to replace the successor to the Radeon RX 5700 XT series. Now, we can't say for sure what AMD will call them, but they could either be branded as the Radeon RX 6700 XT or the Radeon RX 6800 XT cards. Now, Rogaine mentions that it's currently unknown if the two variants he has confirmed are based on the full Navi 2122 GPU DOS or rather a cut down variant. The lower bus interface on a flagship card is slightly weird, but it's possible that these are just early engineering boards. Now, do note that the 16 gigabytes and 12 gigabytes of VRAM are also possible with a 512-bit and a 384-bit bus interface. So AMD has opened up to that option as well when the final specifications are released. We still have over a month to go until the lineup reveal, but AMD and the tech press will be providing us with a handful of teasers and leaks in the meanwhile. Now, AMD will be officially unveiling the Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards on October 28th. The second half of 2020 is shaping up to be exciting time for us PC gaming enthusiasts. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.